I am here to talk about a topic which is so fundamental and I think it should be known to as many people as possible. Okay? You might be thinking why I am saying so. Okay? By looking at the board okay, and the words written on the board right now, you might be thinking that fundamental forces of nature, the word called force comes under science or physics. Okay, the word called gravitational force, electromagnetism force, strong nuclear force, etc. Okay, uh, you might be thinking that uh, this comes under physics and either this comes under science or some kind of subjects like that and this is very much irrelevant for me and I should not be knowing this particular topics. You are partially correct. Okay, but you are also wrong because this particular topic either it has not been told to you that there exists some kind of force in nature or you might have you know uh, come across this explanation and you could not find it as fundamental as the topic is actually is okay so the moment we say fundamental forces of nature okay fundamental the this particular word itself means that uh, this thing or this forces are you know a topic that has not been decided whether by some scientists or by some professors uh, Newton, Einstein, uh, Coulombs or Rutherford okay Feynman okay uh, no this forces were not just uh, when not you know uh, did not came into existence because of those scientists or because of those people or, or because of some humans but the way we say it fundamental is because they already existed and those scientists of course they just discovered that okay they just uncovered the mystery because they were just studying the nature okay so that is the reason why we call physics as the study of nature or the fundamental study of nature okay because in this particular subject what we do is we it is there the things are already there okay so what we are doing is we are just you know looking up and uncovering the mysteries of nature so this particular topic or all these forces that is the four forces okay whether we existed or we did not exist okay uh, whether we studied science or whether we studied physics or we did not study this particular subject this was already there we just uncovered the mystery okay so that is the reason why it is so fundamental okay so for you why you should know this topic? It is because you sitting on your chair right now and we viewing this particular lecture. Okay? Looking into this particular lecture. You sitting on the chair. It is gravity. It is gravity that is pulling you down and helping you sit on that particular chair. Okay? So that is your gravitational force. Then coming to your electromagnetic force. Okay, you sitting on the chair and still not falling down. Okay, you sitting on this particular chair and still not falling down, or something like this. Okay, that is electromagnetic interaction. Okay, let me make it simple. You view, viewing this particular lecture in your screen right now. Okay, suppose this is my screen and I am viewing the lecture. So this is my electromagnetic interaction. Strong nuclear force. Okay, the moment I say nuclear, then it will be like, oh God, this is dangerous. Okay, that is like most of the people view this particular word as dangerous. Okay, and when I say weak nuclear force, then it will be like a little less dangerous. Okay, so nuclear force you sitting on the chair being the lecture okay as we know everything is made up of atom 
okay everything is made up of atoms an atom is going to consist of a proton a neutron and some electrons okay so this is what an atom is made up of an atom is made up of electron proton and neutron so an atom okay has electrons suppose this is suppose this is my atom okay this entire space is my atom and in the center i have the nucleus okay a nucleus is nothing but it is made up of proton and a neutron so these are two sub atomic particles okay a proton and a neutron and the place where this proton and neutron sits or resides is known as a nucleus okay and we have the electron revolving around this nucleus okay so this particular nucleus since an atom is made up of electron proton and neutron okay this particular nucleus where the proton and the neutron resides okay so what is holding this proton and neutron together okay what is it that is holding this particular nucleus together or else it should be floating like this right but it is not floating you are sitting on the chair that is made up of atom so what is it that is holding this particular subatomic particles that is the proton and the neutron together it is the strong nuclear force okay so coming to the last weak nuclear force okay as i say the moment i say weak nuclear force you the idea that comes in the brain is oh the it's weak okay maybe the nuclear force is not very very you know very very effective it is not going to be too much harmful no it is not something like that weak nuclear force is something responsible for changing one subatomic particle okay one subatomic particle into another subatomic particle the way i said just now that a nucleus has subatomic particle that is a proton and a neutron okay these are my subatomic particles so this weak nuclear force is responsible for changing a neutron into a proton okay or proton into a neutron either of the two okay so had it not been for weak nuclear force then i would had been gone and there would had not been any kind of lectures like this okay it is because of the weak nuclear force okay it is because of the weak nuclear force we are existing okay we have elements different elements okay because this is the force that is responsible for changing one subatomic particle into another subatomic particle okay hence now you are sitting on the chair with the gravitational force okay and you are not falling down electromagnetic force and the atoms okay the which with which the chair is made up of okay the nucleus is held strongly by the strong nuclear force and you existing there as a whole weak nuclear force so that is why it is so much fundamental to know this for for four forces of nature that is the gravitational force electromagnetic force strong nuclear force weak nuclear force okay so the thing that is written on the board right now is i guess you know the answer everything happens for a reason okay everything happens for a reason and the reason is dash and the reason is dash if you don't know the force behind it okay when we did not knew anything about this particular forces or for example okay when i did not knew that how this particular marker falls in the ground till that time the reason for me was
magic. As simple as that. Okay. Till the time I did not knew how the marker fell from one particular height. Okay. Down there. Till that time I did not knew the force behind it. Therefore the reason is magic. Okay. So the moment I knew that dude, this is not magic. I have read this stuff somewhere or in a book or in a YouTube lecture or in some classes okay that there was a person whose name was sir isaac newton okay he was sitting down uh, under a apple tree okay and an apple fell in his head and suddenly he realized that he should not take this particular topic as for granted okay so because whenever we take anything for granted it becomes a little, little shaky, okay, be it in our real life or be it in physics or be it in any other stuff, okay, taking granted will make things very shaky and you are going to have very little less knowledge about that particular stuff in your life, okay, so it was Sir Isaac Newton who did not take this particular phenomena for granted and therefore he discovered something known as gravity. Okay, so that particular marker falling down from a particular height, okay, told me that it was not magic, but it was physics, it was gravity. Okay, so everything happens for a reason and the reason is magic if you do not know or if you don't know the force behind it. And the reason is... And the reason is physics if you know the force behind it okay so both the sentence are correct if you know what is going on in your life so these are the four fundamental forces the gravitational force the electromagnetic force the strong nuclear force and the weak nuclear force this four forces govern everything in the universe okay right from opening a door okay sleeping in bed flying in an aeroplane or trying to understand an atom okay or the interaction at the atomic level so everything is being governed by these four forces gravitational force electromagnetic force strong nuclear force weak nuclear force so, if we did not have any of the forces, we it life would ha not have been possible at all. Okay, so this is how fundamental this particular these forces are. Okay, so we are going to look at each force in details. Okay, from here.